welcome back to another digital planner video I'm going to try to do a quick video today and show you how I get my tab my labels on my tabs for this is for my boho berry planner but you could use the same steps for others as well so first off I have downloaded a fresh copy of the boho berry planner and it is saved in my Dropbox so I'm gonna open my Dropbox and find where I have that. There it is. And then I'm going to export. Open in. It'll give it just a minute. Open in, copy to good notes. I wonder if I need, let me try something. Because I've been trying to do this for a while. So we're going to export. Let's see if I use iZip. Maybe if I copy it to iZip first and unzip it. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to take it from here. Select it. Open in. Where's good notes? There it is. Copy to good notes. No, I forgot to unzip it. I feel silly. So okay, here we are. Here is a fresh copy of the Boho Bear Planner. Now this also came with her font. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this planner page. And that just helps me with my placement when I get there. So now we're going to go back to Safari. And as you see, she has her Bubbleberry font. Now, in order for me to do this, I had to buy an app called AnyFont. And it was just a couple dollars. It looks like this green A here. So I'm going to open my AnyFont. And I already have it installed. You see it on the list here. But, um, install on font. Okay, there. Click on it and then you click preview. Tap on the deal. Allow. It'll go here. Click install. Put in your passcode. and then install again. So it takes a little bit there to install, but then when you go back, as you see, the Bubbleberry font's installed. So you can use this for ones you download off Etsy or Defont, wherever you get them. <coughs> so now that is going to be a font. It will not work in GoodNotes, but it works in things like um, pro or not procreate um, keynote things like that so now we're gonna go to keynote this is how I typically add them I have a blank presentation here and I'm going to add that picture I took double tap on it so I just I'm just kind of using this as a reference of the spacing and things for the tabs and I'll show you why in a minute so, and then I'm going to turn it sideways to work with it. Okay, now I'm going to hit the plus, select text, save the first, 
the first one, I want to be my budget section. So, and then I'm going to go up here, text, change my font, and I'm choosing the Bubbleberry because it matches the planner, um, the, the font she made the planner in. And then I'm going to line it up on that first tab. Then I'm actually going to copy it, paste it, and say the next one I want for meal planning. So I'm going to title it Meals. You want to try to keep them, you know, where you could have them big enough to read so you don't, but you don't want the words so long you have to make your font real small. Um... Let's see, family. And just line it up where you want it. And then let's say I'm going to use a section for my journal. And these are just examples. You could label them whatever you wanted. Um, fitness. And then we'll just go with miscellaneous. Okay, so now I've chose the words I want on the tabs. Okay, what I'm going to do is click that original image and delete it because I've got my spacing. Now I'm going to tap and hold the first one and then tap each one after that so they're all highlighted and group them. And then I'm going to copy that. You have to group them first because just the font won't copy but an image will so if you were doing a single word you put a um, transparent background behind it but since I did a group of words there now we're gonna go to good notes I'm gonna tap and hold and I'm gonna hit paste use the green handlebar to turn it adjust my sizing little bit smaller and, and it's worth the time to go ahead and kind of fuss with it and get them where you want them now and then I'm going to use my Apple pencil make sure images is on I'm going to copy this because it's already the correct size and then I'm just going to go through page by page, paste it. You have to do this on every page. And I like to do this first because after this, it will, if I copy and paste a page, um, let me give an example. So I would just keep turning the page and doing it. We're going to go down here to her blank dot grid paper. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it on here and show you all something. So this is set up. Now, if I want to, say, add this in behind my month, you go to the four dots, edit, you want to copy. And then we're in May, so I'm going to scroll up to May. Okay, I'm going to select done. Now I'm going to select the plus icon over here and say I wanted to add the mood mandala in right behind this, which is what I've done in mine. I'm going to hit the, pay, the 
plus and paste copied page. Now, because I already had my tabs labeled on that one, when I go to this page, it's gonna keep my tabs. So unless I change my tabs, once you get up on all the pages, you're good. As you copy and paste pages and add